This video is all about the anamorphic look and anamorphic lenses. So obviously not every filmmaker can afford uh, an anamorphic lens. So what I wanted to do is try to get pretty close or as close as I can to mimic an anamorphic look using the spherical lens coming in just under $1,000. Compared to an anamorphic lens, which comes in at $30,000 US. Give you just a bit of background information about these lenses. This is a spherical lens. It's a Zeiss 35 millimeter F2 and it has a minimum focus distance from the front of the lens at 30 centimeters. It's made in Japan. I think Zeiss actually stopped making these um, and this is an older model. It's about three years old. It's my go-to lens. I absolutely love it. Found it on Amazon that you can buy right now for $950 US. Now this bad boy is a Cook 32 millimeter anamorphic lens. It is uh, two times the squeeze. It's a T2.3 and the lenses are built in the United Kingdom. Minimum focus distance from the front of the lens on this anamorphic lens is 56 centimeters. Now it's time for the lenses to go head to head. Check out this footage shot on the red Scarlet W and 5K of the Cook in the Zeiss lens. Considering that the Zeiss is a $1,000 lens and the Cook is a $30,000 lens, I think the Zeiss performs extremely well for that price point. And you can kind of fake an anamorphic look with the spherical lens. And the benefits or positives for shooting with the Zeiss spherical lens, number one is price point. It's 950 bucks US. Pretty hard to beat. To me, that is, it, it's one of the best lenses out there. I love Zeiss. The price is reasonable. The image quality is beautiful. Um, you have the weight which is something that people might not necessarily consider, but there is quite a bit of a, a difference in weight. Something that I really liked about shooting with the 35 millimeter compared to the 32 anamorphic is taking into consideration the minimum focus distance. If you notice in the test footage, I was able to get much closer to my subjects and just felt like the footage was a little more intimate and thus making the 35 millimeter a lot more versatile as far as getting different kinds of looks um, and shots and being able to uh, kind of approach a subject or you know you can move farther back and still get a fairly nice wide angle shot. The minimum focus distance on the anamorphic is 22 inches so that's actually twice as far 
as the uh, 35 Zeiss lens. For me, I think the 35 millimeter Zeiss lens does get pretty close to the 32 millimeter anamorphic. Really what you're paying for with that $30,000 anamorphic is those anamorphic characteristics. Um, you know, you get that oval bokeh, those lens flares, that super wide, beautiful image. There's nice fall off. If you're talking about a cinematic look and having a cinematic image, um, that's it. And I think if you can afford to shoot with anamorphic lenses, then that really does set you apart and that will set your look apart from from the guys that are using spherical lenses and just letterboxing it, which I've been doing. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it informative. Do you think you need to spend $30,000 to get that beautiful cinematic um, anamorphic look? Or do you think you could get something pretty close and achieve it with a $1,000 spherical lens? Please let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a great week. So subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Also check out Lossless TV. It's our cinematic short documentary channel. This is where I upload my films, which features all original music. I really love connecting with people on Instagram and seeing their work. So be sure to follow me at It's Ryan Freeman. Thanks again for watching.